All right, folks. So here is a newly metamorphosed wood frog. We are about to run a uh, swab test on this for both rhinovirus and for chytrid, two uh, deadly types of viruses and infections that we have, uh, fungal infections that we don't want to spread into a new colony. Um, these guys are going to form a um, the nexus of a brand new colony. We're going to start a new one in a new park in Arlington. And what we'd like to do, of course, is to make sure that this little guy, even though he looks healthy, is not a carrier. Um, we have a lot, we have about, oh, maybe 30 different froglets that we're going to release. Um, we can assume that since they all grew up in the same batch, or in the same tank, and so forth, that, um, that, that either they're all healthy uh, and clean, or they, they all are infected with rhinovirus or chytrid. So what we do is we take one random little guy from the population, and what we're going to do is we're going to swab them five times the belly, five times on the side, and five times on the other side uh, with a sterile, um, again using a sterile swab. And then, then what we're going to do is send that in for a testing uh, a couple days later. If it comes in clean, then we know we can introduce these guys into a brand new vernal pool colony um, and know that we haven't introduced the disease as well. So here's how it works. Uh, I'm basically now going to be grabbing a, um, a sterile swab. and. This swab then is going to be used for five times. One, two, three, four, five along the belly. Again, this is a little intrusive, but again, one, uh, a little, one is better. Do we test on them one and make sure they're all population cleaned and have them all go? One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. And now we release this little guy back into a holding pen. There you go, buddy. Hop on off. We take the swab now that we've just tested. We will put it into a mailer. Seal that up. And we will be able to now test, send this in for a test. Uh, a couple days, we'll wait, we get it back, and we'll know whether it's clean or not. We'll send it priority mail. This cardboard will keep it kind of safe with instructions that it's one, a, it's a newly metamorphosed uh, wood frog, uh, froglet, and that we need to test one sample for chytrid, and I'm repeating the exact same thing for ranavirus. Once we get a clean bill of health, all of these guys, we can then take them in there and we can hopefully start a new colony, clear in conscience that we haven't introduced any of these uh, uh, infections at the same time.